Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to allow your Shopify customers to add a tip or gratuity to their order right before checkout. This is really, really cool and really powerful. Tips and gratuity inside of Shopify, you might not have thought about it a lot, but it's actually something that you really, really need to. I'm gonna show you how to do it the exact right way. And uh, when you build a great brand, you're gonna generate a ton of happy and loyal customers. Obviously, that's exactly what we wanna do as Shopify store owners. And sometimes customers love us so much that they wanna leave a tip. And you know, who, who are us to, to say no? Why not, right? It was additional revenue, right? We've you know, done a lot of hard work to build a great brand or a service and people wanna tip us, that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and make it super easy for them to do that. Let's go ahead and prompt them to do that inside of our Shopify store. That's what we're gonna set up here. And it's a really popular strategy. I'm gonna show you how to use the MF tip pop-up for tipping Shopify app. This is gonna allow your customers to easily add a tip right before checkout. And if you wanna implement this strategy, you might run into some pain points because Shopify's built-in tipping is way, way, way too basic. First of all, it only appears as a very small element in the checkout page. You need it to be shown way more prominently most of the time, customers never even notice it. You might not have even known that it existed. And to effectively increase tip revenue, it's important to actually present a clear ask, a clear call to action that explicitly asks for tipping, and we do this right before checkout. And to do this, you're gonna to need to use an app, right? That's why I'm talking about over here, the MF Tip app. And the app needs to be super, super easy to use and require no prior technological skills or experience incredibly easy. I'll walk you through exactly how to do it. And of course, that's why this video exists. That's why I'm going to show you the MF tip pop up for tipping Shopify app. This is what I highly recommend. It's a super, super powerful app that really allows you to have full control over the tipping and gratuity experience. And it does it in a prominent way to where you're going to significantly increase your tipping revenue. So you see the link directly below this video. Let's go over the shoulder. I'll go inside the Shopify app store and you see right over here, pop up for tipping MF tip. And again, link directly below this video. What this app is gonna do is allow you to show a tip pop up directly before checkout. And you could offer percentage, fixed or custom amounts. You could have smart targeting as well. You see a little example over here and uh, you have different like fixed amounts here. You have percentage amounts over here. Totally flexible in terms of however you want to set it up. And we'll go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Fully customizable, so you pick your color scheme and all that great stuff. And, you know, really going to fit in nicely into your brand. You could even have translations over here. So you have different languages in your store. No problem. You could have that right over here. And it's a super, super easy to set up uh, app. I'm going to show you as we go over the shoulder, right? You could do percentages, or maybe you say 10%, 15%, 20%. Uh, maybe you have fixed amounts, a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. Maybe you just let them enter any amount they want, right? You just have it totally open-ended, right? Really easy to set this up. But what's even cooler is there's really cool advanced settings. So you could show it only to a certain market, right? Or you could show it only if there is a cart value of a certain amount. Or you could only show it if certain items are in the checkout. So it's really cool. You have full brand ability. You know, you could change the labels as well. Instead of it saying, you know, tip, you can call it service fee or anything like that. Right, you could add notes, things like tip support, small or staff benefits. And uh, you could localize and translate it. So no matter what language your store is, this works. It's a must have app for your store. You get a free trial in here as well. All you need to do, press the install button. We're gonna walk through step by step, literally just follow along. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. I'm gonna add this into one of my stores right now and you'll see exactly how to set everything up and then you'll see it in action. Super, super powerful and uh, really the best way to deal with tips and gratuity on Shopify. So link below this video, we'll go over the shoulder in my store, I'll go ahead and press install. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where we will finalize the installation of MF tip. Basically this is doing all of the hard work for us. We don't need to do any code or anything like that. Once this is all done, MF tip is installed in our Shopify store and will be brought right into the app. Here, we'll be able to select a, a plan. We'll go and click Confirm Plan over here. And you see we have the light, the basic, and advanced. You get a seven-day free trial. 
I'm going to go with the advanced plan, highly recommended. You get advanced support as well. And we'll click approve to set this up. You're going to get an awesome seven day free trial. You're going to see just how powerful MF tip is for you, even before you get billed. It's literally that easy to set up and get going. So we have MF tip installed now. We have our plan set up. And what we want to do is now generate our tip products. We're going to create two tip products to be displayed in the cart. This is going to be what they actually uh, purchase, what they pay for in terms of creating or paying for a tip. So we'll click generate tip products. You're going to see in the background, this is happening over here. You don't need to do anything. Basically, MF tip is uh, setting up these products. You see now tip products have already been created. So step one done for you, right? You just click the button. Now we have the enable tip feature. And uh, this is going to be a little bit of a kind of a step by step, but it's really just a couple of steps here. We need to go into the theme editor and we need to enable the MF tip app. You've probably done this a million times with other apps. You click the theme editor. You can also get to it over here by clicking online store and then customize theme. We're going to see over here, it sends us right to our app embed section and it toggles it on for us. See, this is on and this is off and this is on. So we're going to make sure we have it on and we're going to press save. Okay. Come back over here. We have step two done. Of course, we've uh, finished our theme editor and we've saved it, right? And saving it is the important part here. Uh, now we want to configure it. So we're going to go into our settings. Okay. This is going to open up our settings. And all we need to do is really just kind of control the settings. And, you know, we literally just read through it. Okay. What type of tip do we want? Do we want to do a percentage? Do we want to do a fixed? Do we want to turn it off completely? Right. We're going to go with percentage based. You know, this is kind of the traditional tipping style that you see in the US, right? You're going to be 10%, 15%, 20%, right? And you could change these numbers. Maybe you want your threshold to be 15, uh, 18, 20, right? You could do that. No problem. You could do whatever you want, right? Maybe you're a higher end brand. You want to go 25. I'm going to go with 15, 18, 20. Okay. We can have a no thanks option over there, or we can hide it if we wanted. We're going to keep that on. We have our default selection being no thanks, but we could come over here and we could have it to either be unselected or we could have it to be defaulting to the first option, right? We're going to default it to no thanks here. Custom tip settings. This is going to be basically an input field that lets customers enter their own tip, right? Uh, maybe they want to do it with, um, you know, uh, $7 instead, right? This works with the fixed tip amount settings, not the percentage, but you do have that option as well. So uh, we set up our numbers, we set up our tip type, we're going to now press save. Uh, pretty easy so far, right? We haven't done any hard work at all. And uh, we've got MF tip set up here. There are some other options over here, we can go to wording settings. This is going to be where we can basically change the text. You don't want it to say tip payment, well, you can change it to be something else. You don't want it to say no thanks, maybe later you could change it to something else, right? You can go ahead and put in your own wording here. Uh, even the labels for tip one, two and three, you could add labels on them. Now we'll go into our design settings. This is going to be where we basically set up our theme. And you see that uh, we have different options for background color and all that great stuff. And I have a blue and red site. So I'm going to go with uh, my nice blue over here. And we can change other things as well, like option background color. Maybe I'll try in my branded red over here. And you can play around with this. Make sure you press save when you're going through here. We have our advanced settings over here. So this is going to be some advanced settings that uh, you get to create that will give you flexibility in terms of, you know, when to show things, what conditions to show. For example, we could say over here, I'll do USA only, and we'll say for USA customers only. And we can go over here to condition settings, we'll go to market, and we can go to United States. Okay. There's other options as well. For example, cart total. So we could have basically has to have at least a certain amount or less than a certain amount. We could do specific products in the cart. You could literally go ahead and find your specific product by tag or by collection. But we're going to go by market in this example, United States only. Okay, we'll do USA only over here. And uh, now we'll be able to create our own conditions and our own, in this case, pop up type with our percentage settings. And uh, we could change this. So maybe you want US to be higher. Maybe you think they'll tip better. You could even set this to be 20, 25, 30. Okay, so when you have all these set up, you simply press save. I'm going to back out of this because I don't want to create any rules yet. But that's how you create your rule settings. And you can get really, really advanced here with the MF tip app. That's what I love about it. Super simple to set up, but you could also get really, really advanced 
by controlling all these different options and these different toggles. You'll be able to uh, change your plan type and view your plan type over here under plan, of course, where you're going to see right now we're on advanced. See some other settings over here as well. You can go over here and change your different language settings. You could delete it. You could regenerate products. You got all the different things that you need right inside of the plan. So uh, really, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's super, super simple to kind of set up. We're going to now see because we set up our uh, basic settings, we set up our pop up, we set up our parameters. Now it's time to show this in action. So I'm on my storefront. I'm going to show you right over here. We're going to go and add a product. We'll go add to cart. And you're going to find that right when you go to checkout, right before the checkout, this is going to be where we see MF tip. So we'll go ahead and press checkout. You're going to see our pop up comes up and you see it's fully customized to match the look and feel of my store. I have a red and blue theme. I set my red and blue colors. You could fully customize all this, including the font colors and of course the text on here as well. We have over here our different options that I set, right? I set 15, 18, and 20. We have our no thanks button. We have our continue button. I'm going to go over here and um, I really love this brand. I'm going to tip them 20%. So we'll select 20%. We'll press continue. You'll see that our checkout process will now start, of course, but we have our tip, right? We have our 20% tip over here, which is $5. 20% of 25 is five bucks, right? Added right inside here, right? It literally gets added right inside automatically. MF tip does all this. You see it's a seamless process. And when they're going to check out, they see exactly, you know, this isn't like some type of hidden charge. It's right there, right with the product. You see the product, there's the cost. You see the tip that they chose and there's the cost. So fully transparent, always right in front of the customer. It makes for a really high converting setup here. And you're going to notice that a lot of people are going to start tipping you because of MF tip. It's a great way to add a new revenue stream to your Shopify store. So that was the MF tip pop-up for tipping Shopify app. As you saw, super easy to set up, uh, super powerful as well. Looked really good on my store right there. So all you need to do, and watch this video a few times if you have to, just get this up, uh, get this set up correctly. It's going to increase your tipping and gratuity revenue significantly. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Leave a comment directly below this video, and I'll do my best to answer each and every single one of them personally. Otherwise, get MF Tip installed in your store. I hope this helps you make a ton of tip and gratuity revenue, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks a lot.